right, today we are in Wooster, Ohio, and we're gonna go in here and visit the Goodwill. Um, they don't have a sign on the front of the store, but there is a sign at the end of the parkway that does say retail store this way. Um, and I do see stuff inside that says Goodwill. So maybe they're just new. I don't know, but people's going inside, so let's go inside. If it's not Goodwill, I'll come back out and tell you. Okay, let's go. It's right inside the door of the Worcester store. Nice big signs saying how much they cost. Shorts three forty nine, skirts three four forty nine. We are going to look over here because I do need a beach cover up. 3X. That would be my size. And that has long sleeves. 549. Look at the flamingos. Do I like the tie dye or do I like the flamingos? So we have the formal dresses, dresses like, and then business suits and scrubs and maternities and then like the purses and items and such here. My cart is rolling away from me. <laughs> purses are $4.49 a piece. I can't say that enough. I really like how they are one set price. Like, I like it because of for resellers it's good you know the prices don't get jacked up but I like it just because it's easier it's just easier for everybody to know how much it is instead of having to look for a tag and then if it's not priced having to ask like I just like it how much are 449 With that being a, oh, it's really dirty. Oh, it's really stained. That's all right. We'll keep looking. Oh. All right. And then right here on the right is the dressing rooms with some of the bigger furniture areas. So we got a table and a drawer, dresser. That's neat. That's neat because it looks like the panels are this way, but the drawers. All right, again, so table, dresser, underwear, bras. Looks like used to be fitting room. And then like entertainment center and drawers, things like that. All right, and then we're over here at the linens. We have the curtains, tablecloth, placemats, things like that. Some flags, some doilies. And they have the price, the set price, $349.29, $49. Um, it's a nice quilt somebody made. It has elephants on it. All right, let's try this again. People keep calling me. Um, got a nice thick blanket here. Um, got some sheets. Got a dock next stuff in little kitchen, a little train set, and the train. And then I move right over here into the puzzles. 
and board games. This looks a lot like a poster from the 90s. <laughs> That's cool. And then we got stuffed animals here. And then some toys. And then we got the record vinyl bookcases here again, dollar nineteen. And then the books looks like a library because they've got like the big book sections here, and then it moves over into here. The Happy Hollisters and the Trading Post mystery. Those are neat. 13 books. Last I saw, a set of 15 has sold for 50. Um, these are $2.25 a piece, so it'd be about $30 to get those. So for 30 into almost 50, um, I don't really see the good for me right now to do that, so I'm going to leave it and maybe somebody else will find them and see and get them. But continuing on looking at the book, like the library, like look at the book section. That's crazy. So many books. And then this is the big furniture section. They've got quilt racks, vanity sets, chairs. I'd say this is a pot rack that you hang from your ceiling. $25 on that. This is a clock. It's really neat, really big. Uh, $10.50. The basket here is really pretty. Decorative basket. $14.50. And then here we have a wine cooler. That I almost wonder would work, because my daughter wants a little fridge. We've got chairs and tables. We have another vanity cabinet here. Outdoor table for $13.50. Old camcorder. That's neat. It's a Hitachi VM. There we go. I can look it up and let you know how much it was. Some more chairs, some outdoor lights, and then we got some more chairs here, dresser. The prices for the furniture seem pretty decent, like this is $8.50, $5.50. A microwave here is $15.50. And this metal coat rack, four fifty. All right, so we're gonna just start here with the vases, two forty nine a piece. Um, let's see here. I am right under the radio, so we'll have to keep talking until I get away from it. Um, Broke right there, but that's very pretty. Hand painted for four fifty. It's very pretty. Okay. And then over here at the metal section, I got normally what you would find like votive handles, tens. Um, that's not <laughs> not metal. Sorry. <laughs> and then just some like shelf dividers, filing folders, things like that. 
And then I'm just going to kind of go over the metal stuff a little quicker just to get more away from, from the radio. These are always neat here. Avon. Cups. Plates, cups. Some Winnie the Pooh glasses here. Looks pretty neat. I saw something. You see it? Because I see it. We'll look at it when we get over there because there's a lot of people here. This is me here. So I made this out of clay. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, and then we've got... You probably won't hear me talk too much because I'm microphones away. Hot cocoa. That's pretty cool though. Chefin hot cocoa. Uh, let's see some mugs. We got a lot of pretty bells here. You guys want to look at those? Some more mugs and bells. So we're kind of still near the radio, but I'm going to just show you, kind of keep talking as I am going. Um, got some brown drip here. Four fifty. Cream and sugars, but the sugars doesn't have any lids. So cake plates back there are cute. That's very neat. Ah, that's a shame. These are so cool, but they're very faded. Went through the dishwasher too many times. literally right above me. Um, it's cute. It's got a big crack in it, but it's very cute. Uh, let's see. $2.50, but this is flashed. Um, Alright. have to mute this. I should have asked him. I forgot to ask him. Um, all right. She turned on radio for me. Yay! Okay, I am going to talk. Hold on. 
Alright, this is really pretty here with the birds on it. SR for 250. That is very pretty. Um, let's see here. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the girl that just turned down the radio for me. I really don't usually like to ask because I feel like I am acting like I'm better than people, but it really just does help. This was a bunch of candle items, votive taper, things like that here. Alright, and then we've got a vintage home co. Alright, let's move around the corner. Alright, we do have a lot of delicious moments here. And we have one here. 550. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I should have asked her when I got here and I forgot. I forgot. It's all right. I was going to. All right. This is a neat little trinket box here for dollar fifty. Little seals back here for dollar fifty. They all have really cute little figurines. Music box here. A couple little clocks. Can't see what it says. Grand something. Alright. A lot of really neat items. Alright. Some more figurines. Some more precious moments here. Sharing the good news. And they're all 550. I fit some Floyd basket back there, but I've not had too much luck with the Fitz and Floyd. A whole bunch more precious moments. Some bells. This little guy here is interesting. I'm trying to get to him. 350. It's like a graduation guy. It's pretty neat. Paper mache made in the Philippines. Old lady. Four fifty a piece for the animals here for the birthdays. A lot of them there. Okay. Saw this guy across the way. JKC 2004. That's so cool. I don't know who JKC is, but it's pretty interesting. Birdhouse from Big Lots. Alright. A lot more just decorative. More clear glass cups. This thing here is very cool. the colors on that. I want to look that up. Looks like the Avon. Yeah. Some 
tequila shakers. And some more plates, bowls, things like that. I'm gonna leave those there. They were ten dollars, but they have a lot of crazing on them. <clears throat> okay. This looks to be like the electronic section. Kroger drink dispenser, that's neat. Music stand here. It's pretty neat. And Christmas lights and we got package. Santa Claus here. Oh, he's cool. Five fifty. Some more lights there. These are some plastic mice. Oh, okay. Look like stocking holders, maybe. That's cool. We've got a little paper mache coffin. Coffin, 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 coffin. $2.50. I might look into that. Uh, let's see. Matte black. Oh, eyelashes. Some lights. Celebrations by Radco. $2.50. Um, I might look it up. Alright, they don't really have the highest resale value, so I'm going to leave them. Um, I know some Radco does go more, um, but obviously those are just like more plain. Those are adorable. Little stocking holders looks like, or just decorations. Sorry, I was so quiet. But, yeah. 
Restless Tombs, Limax by Michaels. Got a whole bunch of lights, a whole bunch of Halloween. Christmas tree stand. Madison Avenue. Oh, Pomander has the. Happy Halloween. All right. Sorry, I got some fake vegetables here. Um, picture frames again they are a set price I don't know where the thing is but they are a set price that starts in first grade so I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna try to find one for Trey but closer to when he starts first grade This is a stained glass thing yeah. with pressed flowers on it for $3.50. I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to put it over here somewhere um, so it doesn't get broke. Alright. We didn't get to look over here too much. and quit talking when somebody follows me when they follow me around the store and keep huffing when I stop it's okay it's okay it's okay everything's okay oh, we got some bigger picture frames And these are all individually marked 250, 450, 550. So it looks like the bigger ones are marked. And then it has the big, 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 big ones here, which is cool. All right. All right DVD, CDs. bunch of the Monster High movies, a whole bunch of baskets, cookware items, things like that. We just finished here at the Wooster Goodwill. Um, very big store, very nice store. They had things sorted out really nicely. The home goods kind of was just all thrown on a shelf, but they had so much stuff to look through. So like, you could spend hours in here looking through the shelves, looking for things. I didn't personally find anything to resell. I found a couple things, but then I ended up putting it back. Um, like the coffins that were like 
a coffin and a coffin and a coffin like this you know like the Russian dolls how they get smaller as you go inside I was going to get those decided not to put it back um, what else did I put back the cookie jar biscuit jar ceramic thing with the blue and the green it was very pretty I didn't find strong enough comps for me to get it so I did put it back um, the only thing I did buy was a kind of like a cover the flamingo cover thing for me for a swimsuit for the beach and then I got me a swim top that's all I bought here but very nice people um, nicely stocked store um, so if you guys are up here Worcester come and see the store I'm sorry I want to apologize in this in the middle of the video I get eerily quiet and I do apologize for that um, I am NOT a very outgoing person for me talking in the store to my microphone and to my phone I get very shy and I um, will only talk if I am somewhat by myself like I don't have to be completely by myself but somewhat by myself but there was a point that one lady got behind me and I don't know why she didn't go around me but she just kept well, she was at the very next section the whole time and every time I was looking and then I would squat down she was going <sighs> and I was just like in my head I'm like go around me like there's, I, I'm not I'm not going any slower than anybody else I'm not taking up any more space than anybody else like go around me and I don't know like I get nervous when people are around me so I tend to not talk very much anyway but when there's somebody that's just staying they, they just are blatantly staying right next to me the whole time and then just like huffing and just like hovering and I just get very uncomfortable and I get very quiet because I don't want to talk and then I don't know like it so it gets very quiet I do apologize um, I might throw in some voiceover maybe maybe not I don't know so it's okay we're going to Orville now um, I've been there once before back in May or April end of April um, I have not filmed there so this is my first time filming in Orville but we're heading there now you guys will see that in a couple days thank you again for watching please like subscribe comment all that fun jazz and please embrace your thrifty soul. See you guys.